Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing some practice with infinite sets and infinite subsets. Now, this problem is problem 6 from section 1.2 of your free online discrete math textbook, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. Alright, so let's solve this problem. So for part A, I'm going to first draw this universe that we're given here. We're given a universe and we're told that it's infinite in size and that there are two sets, A and B. Now I want to make a couple comments. If U is infinite, then that just means somewhere in this region, could be in A, could be in B, might not be in A, might not be in B, might be in both, who knows. We just know that this red region has infinitely many elements, somewhere. So that's what it means that U is an infinite set. The same is true about A and B. So if A is infinite, that means that this whole region, both of these regions, I should say, are a sum total of infinitely many elements. Well, this, well, A consists of two regions, A by itself and A intersection B. Now, A has infinitely many elements, but where are those infinitely many elements? Must they be in both of these regions here? Well, not necessarily, because if A by itself, outside of B, if that has infinitely many elements, then A has infinitely many elements, even if this middle here is finite, and this region right here is infinite, A would still be infinite in size. And so there are three possibilities when I say that A is infinite. The first possibility is that this region here is infinite in size, and this region here is finite in size. That together creates infinitely many elements for the set A. The second scenario is if the intersection is infinite, and A by itself is finite. In this case, A is still infinite. And then the third case scenario is if they're both infinite in size, in which case, yes, A is still infinite in size. But those are the only three cases. We can't have it so that these two regions are finite because finite plus finite is finite and A needs to be infinite. So we need to find those infinitely many elements somewhere, not some finite number of elements. So that said, let's solve this problem for part A. Must A complement be finite? Well, to solve these problems, we should probably play devil's advocate. Let's try to find a counterexample. So must A complement be finite? Let's try to find an example where A complement is infinite in size. Well, there are three scenarios for A in terms of where that infinite set is. If we put infinitely many elements outside of B and finitely many elements in the intersection, then what does that say about set B? Well, B is infinite, but here I only have finitely many elements. So what does that mean about B by itself outside of A? What does that mean about this region right here? It means that this region must be infinite so that, so that Finitely many elements plus infinitely many elements is infinitely many elements. We want that. We need that in this case, in this case. But this is a counterexample because now I have infinitely many elements outside of A. And now I don't really care how many elements are outside of both A and B. This could be finite. This could be infinite. It doesn't matter because I already have an infinite number of elements outside of A. And so a complement is already infinite. Who cares if I add more elements to it? Who cares if I might be able to? I, I already have infinitely many elements. All right, let's move on to part B. Part B says, must A union B be infinite? Is it possible for all three of these regions to be finite? Well, no, because earlier we saw that if these two regions are finite, just these two... Just these two regions being finite would imply that A is finite because a finite number of elements plus a finite number of elements is a finite number of elements. And A is infinite. Keep that in mind. And so, yes, this has to be true because one of these has to be infinity or infinitely many elements. One of these regions here has to contain infinitely many elements. And because of that, this whole region must also contain infinitely many elements. All right, part C. Must the intersection 
be infinite. Well, let's try to play devil's advocate again. In this case, for A, I can either have infinitely many elements outside and finitely many elements in the inter intersection. I could have them both be infinite. I could have the outside be finite and the inside be infinite. Those are all scenarios for what it would mean for A to be infinite. But the goal here is to try to find a counterexample to this. We're trying to figure out, can we find a way to make the intersection finite? And so this is a really bad job of setting up for that. So let's say that A has infinitely many elements outside of B and finitely many elements in the intersection. Is this possible? Can I satisfy all the conditions in this problem? Can I finish this picture somehow? Well, B has to have infinitely many elements. And so there are finitely many elements on the intersection. I don't want to mess that up because we're trying to play devil's advocate here. And so for that reason, I would need to put the infinitely many elements outside of A. But, and in this case, we still have a finite set in the intersection. Everything is good so far. And in fact, everything is good. A is infinite, B is infinite, and U is infinite. Now you might say, well, what about the outside here? What, what if that's infinite or finite, right? What, what about those scenarios? Well, it doesn't matter because the only region I care about is the intersection here. And the intersection in this example is finite. And so must the intersection be infinite? No. So this is kind of interesting. The intersection doesn't have to be infinite. The union does have to be infinite. And the complement of A might be infinite. Just like in this scenario right here where B has infinitely many elements outside of A. And so must A complement be finite? No. There are scenarios where A complement is infinite as well. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.